What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Knives of the Round Table. My name is Shamarco and today we're going to be taking a look at the Christensen Knifeworks Maverick S. Now this one, uh, right off the bat, I need to thank my friend Kevin from Knife Nerdery. And if you haven't checked out his channel, I'm going to link it down below. And my reviews of knives are primarily based on my experience with the knife. How does it feel in my hand? How, is, how does the action feel? How does it cut? That's, that's, that's kind of what my reviews are about, about my experience using the knife. Now, his reviews, they have obviously a, 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 something to do with his experience with the knife, but they are, they, they are far more detailed into uh, the mechanics and how it's built and the little details that, that, that the knife might have, how, uh, how it functions and more of the, of, the, of the engineering and the build of the knife. So I think you benefit from, from watching both our channels, or at least that's what I hope. So the Maverick S is uh, Matthew Christensen from Christensen Knife Works. Uh, is is one of these uh, knife designers that you know started doing custom knives and partnered up with Riot. This is a Riot made knife, and they uh, to bring a knife to market, right? And it's 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 really a way for for a custom knife maker to instead of having to do you know a two thousand dollar knife to be able to do a design that costs three, four hundred dollars and, and 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 a lot of people can get it at a, as a high quality piece. So that's what this one is. Uh, it's his collaboration with uh, with Riyadh to bring the Maverick to, to market. So let me show you what, what we've got here. So what we've got here is uh, probably, I'd probably call it a one cliff blade even though it probably has a little bit of a belly. Uh, maybe a ship's foot, uh, but it's closer to a it's closer to a worn cliff. Uh, it's it's a very nice tall hollow grind. It it doesn't start with a really uh, thick blade stock, and we'll talk about that when we when we get into cutting. You've got this uh, this wedge up top. It is a titanium frame lock, which has uh, you know your over travel stop, your your lock bar insert, and this version. There are there are several different versions uh, of the knife. There's one with micarta. There's uh, uh, there's one with uh, with the titanium, and it's got Timascus. This one is it's got the zirconium pivot collar. I think it's zirconium uh, a thumb stud, zirconium clip, and a back spacer uh, is what you've got. So. Uh, really uh, a really nice uh, understated combination here of of materials before i get too much further let me uh, show you the the size of the knife first up it's the pair two and pair three so uh, very much in the vicinity of the pair three, especially when closed or when you carry it, it's gonna feel a lot like the pair three. Uh, it's it's a chunkier, thicker boy. So as you can see, I mean the pair three is still probably a little bit bigger, but you know, in the pocket, uh, thickness wise, it's it's very much in that neighborhood. This one's a little bit chunkier than the pair three, but uh, if you're wondering how it's gonna feel, I think the pair three is is is, is very much uh, is very much in that neighborhood. Now, as far as with the bug out, uh, lengthwise is very much uh, like the full size bug out. It's a little bit longer than the, than the mini, but as I just said, it is much thicker uh, than than the bug outs. It's this is not one that's going to disappear in your pocket. It's got a taller blade. It's got a taller blade. It's got a thicker handle. It's contoured. It's thick, so uh, it fills your hand very nicely. So, speaking of uh, the ergonomics on this knife, uh, are better than I expected. You know, it's 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 a very neutral handle, right? There's 
uh, there's there's no there's no contouring like what you get in the in the paramilitaries there's no it's a very neutral handle which which will lend itself to you holding it in 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 many different positions so the ergonomics are they, they feel they feel fine but when you have a neutral handle that you can use in many different positions it doesn't excel at any one of them but the fact that it's uh, it, it's contoured in this direction so the contouring allows you to have kind of a a thicker scale in the thickest portion of the scale and and it feels my hand I, I I wear large gloves and it feels my hand very very nicely and I also because I wear large gloves I end up with three fingers on the on the actual flat here and my pinky ends up resting in this in in, in this in this back ramp and it actually locks the knife quite a bit in place now in a hammer position the hammer position feels really uh, nice in the hand in a saber position the clip gets in gets in the way uh, it, i i feel it a little bit so uh, so i would say that the ergonomics on this one are are actually decent uh without being uh, outstanding uh, just because it's a neutral handle and and you're going to be able to hold it in a lot of different in a, in a lot of different ways now action action i like it a lot uh i think i've i've, I've stated before that for me the the component of action has a deployment component and a closing component and for me the deployment component of the action is more important right because uh, it's more likely that i'm going to be in a hurry uh, to use my knife but i'm never going to be in a hurry to close my knife so the fact if if it drops shut it's nice to have it's always nice to to get but i like knives that deploy a uh, uh, snappier uh, or faster and this one it, it 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 deploys very very nicely it it, it has a very satisfying uh deployment it's 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 snappy it's fast it's effortless uh it's it, it's everything i like in my deployment to be obviously i i prefer a flipper but you know this one without the flipper with just the thumb studs it's just is just phenomenal action now in closing it's not a heavy blade and it's not a large blade i can probably here you go throw a measurement on it just over three inch blade so because it's not a thick blade and because it's not a you know a large blade it's not a heavy blade and because it's not a heavy blade then you don't get a lot of these uh drop shuttiness and i wanted to kind of show you here the blade stock it's thinner than what you get from a pair of two okay hopefully that's coming across so the deployment action is phenomenal it is it is really really nice it you know you've come to expect that from riyadh riyadh has you know done so many knives for so many different people and i think that the action they've dialed down uh so the deployment action is phenomenal and to close it you kind of have to shake it down it's it's not drop shot by any stretch of the imagination the lock bar pressure doesn't let it uh especially because it's not a heavy blade so speaking of that blade uh this has hopefully let me see if i can if i can do this so you can see the hollow grind hopefully it comes across like that so it is a very nice tall hollow grind on this knife it is it is beautifully done that the, the, the bell satin finish on the blade is just it just looks phenomenal it's a and uh, let me check i believe it's a 20 cv blade give me a second oh m390 blade so yeah it's an m390 blade and and what you get is it, it's it's a master of utility cuts right uh, you know doing uh, you know opening packages uh, cutting a uh, cutting something flat on the table a hollow grind to excel at that sort of thing but because this one doesn't have a, a, a thicker blade like i said it's 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 thinner than what you get from a from a pair two uh it's actually fairly slicey so even 
even when you get past the hollow, you know, th so the, the, the blade it, in a hollow grind, it's very thin from here to about right here. Let's call it uh, a quarter of an inch quarter of an inch in you got really really thin you're gonna be able to cut it, everything on a board leather uh, cardboard anything like that and some hollow grinds when you've got a thick blade stock when you got a thick blade stock you, once you get over here to the thickest portion of the blade on the flat it starts to to kind of wedge right and pry apart rather than, than slice but this one's not as thick it's it's obviously not in the neighborhood of the buck out but it's thinner than the pair two. So at the at the at its thickest, this is uh, it has less things than the pair two. So so the so the slicing, you know, when you're going through cardboard all the way through, this slices really, really, really nicely. Now, this I, I believe he uh, Kevin has used it before, so it's not it's not you know kind of factory sharp, and I'm not gonna sharpen his knife uh, unless you know, he asks me to, but, uh, but even, even as a, as a knife that has been used, it is very, very, very slicey. This cuts very, very well. I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't been able to find one. Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit smaller than I usually try to get. I usually like to get a three and a quarter inch blade minimum. My, my large hands, it, it, even though they, they fit in this knife, I'd like them to fit without falling off of this side. Uh, so I'm not looking to buy one, uh, but I, it, it is a knife that if you, if, you like, if you like the aesthetics of the knife, the function of it is phenomenal. So I would recommend, I, I would recommend it to you. I just don't know where you can find it right now. I, I know of several places that sell it, but they're not in stock right now. So. If, if this is something that you like, then you follow Matthew Christensen on, on, on Instagram or whatever, and you'll, you'll be able to find out when, when the upcoming, uh, when the upcoming uh, drops are gonna be. So fit and finish. Uh, it, it, it's hard to keep saying the same thing about Riyadh every time, but I think they do a phenomenal job. I think the fit and finish on this knife is, is, is phenomenal, I think. Uh, that through the years and through having so many people, uh, so many different knife makers, uh, QA and QC, the knives that Riyadh makes for each of them, they've become, uh, they've, they've really become one of the better knife makers in the world uh, just because they have so much practice and they have so many eyes, uh, you know, looking at their knives. And you know their masters. You know the the, the bell satin just looks just looks incredible. You know the transitions between the hollow or this uh, this looks like a flat grind up here for the swedge, but the transition between the, the between those grinds and the flat, which looks like a hand rub satin, that it it looks like a crisp transition. A lot of them screw it up, and and you know they. It, it creates this this rounded area instead of this this nice and crisp delineation of the two different surfaces. It's this this is really really well done. Again, the action is perfectly tuned. Uh, you know anything you know where the, the pocket clip is a little bit of a hot spot in, in 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 the hammer grip and those kinds of things. Those are more of a design type of of of, of complaint. Uh, rather than than a fit and finish i think that the fit and finish on this on this is is really 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 good now uh, the airing of grievances uh i've already talked about the clip i think it works really well coming in and out of the pocket it really does the ramp is really really nicely done and but my only complaint and actually you know i think i i, I think i said something wrong so the this is a, a lock bar insert, but it's not an over travel stop. I believe the zirconium is the one that does the over travel stop uh, duties. But one thing that I it's 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 such a small nitpick, but the pivot is is domed, and the dome comes down to a kind of recess. There's a hole, or there's a little. A, a vertical gap between the the zirconium pivot collar 
and the domed uh, pivot itself. So the and and the problem is first it it looks like there's a discontinuity in a knife that other that otherwise feels uh, just just very. It, it, the transition between the zirconium and the titanium is, is just incredible. But the problem is you get gunk in there, right? Anything that's in your pocket, every, every single piece of grime or grit or whatever is going to hide itself in that little corner all around that pivot collar. So as you can see on this side, even the dome, the pivot, it's still, it, it, it's still domed, but... I don't know if I can show you, but the, you can but you can feel it. It is maybe in that. So in this in this side, the 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 dome is protruding from the scale. In this one, it's recessed into the scale. So the so so on this side, it doesn't look as finished as it does on this side. Now, in this side, you still get a little bit of that because since the scale is contoured then obviously you don't get uh, 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 the same distance on, on, the, on the dome edges, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very small nitpick. Uh, my hope is that they do kind of a, a larger version of this knife, and if they do a three and a quarter, three and a half inch version, that's probably the one that I would get. Uh, so uh, that's, that's kind of it. Uh, guys, uh, again, I want to I want to thank uh, Kevin from Knife Nerdery and link uh, to his channel below for for sending this guy along. And hopefully, you found this useful. If you did, then like and subscribe. Only if I earned it. But until I see you at the next one, take care.